What's going on guys, welcome back to Mystery Box Monday! Yes, we're going to start the week with a whole box of overflowing goodies. Oh, I hope you're, in, hope you're ready for a really, really good box. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone has had a, had a really fantastic week, as you can see. Uh, only a couple of mainline Hot Wheels, but we do have a whole bunch of the premium Hot Wheels. And then we've got a couple of uh, Johnny Lightnings down the back there, so yeah. Pretty good little haul today, plus I've got a few other things off to the side too, so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Starting with, start with this one actually, because I bought a second one of these, so we can actually open this one up this week. Uh, yes, we found this one last week, but uh, you only found the one, there's only a few little stragglers of the new series out, so of the, uh, I think this is... M K no M N P case N or P case I'm not entirely sure uh, but yeah we have the Porsche 914 Safari yeah I can't really, I don't exactly know what what case this is from because uh, during the whole lockdown period we missed out on a lot we only got up to L and M cases so I've got a uh, fair few doubles of those cases so very happy to find some new cases uh, let's just zoom in just a little bit shall we Try and eliminate some of that shadow oh there we go how cool does that look got some red and gold striping on the side there you got the Porsche logo got these pretty cool off-road five spoke wheels you get the spotlights on the bumper bar you get this big skid plate there bash plate there that's pretty awesome uh, you get the Porsche logo on the front with those same colours, the gold red with the 21 in a black square. Uh, this one comes with a little light on top of there. I think that's a little light. I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know what that is, please let me know. Uh, this one comes with a dark smoked window and a black interior. And it's got some extra fuel cans on the top there. Plus we also get a spare wheel in the back. And you can see that this has got a lot of suspension work going in the back here. A lot of roll cages, a lot of suspension happening there. Uh, on the back there we get the dual exit exhaust. That's pretty cool. What a cool looking little casting. Alright, let's zoom back out. So I can uh, get all of this in in one shot. And let's have, have a look at the base while we're here. There you go. Pretty boring looking base there. Not very much detail on that. But a pretty cool casting nonetheless. I have to say, I quite like the look of that. Uh, I think this is the second colour I have of this. I think I've got a yellow one from uh, last year or the year before, possibly. Not entirely sure. Uh, let's find something to pull out. Everything's kind of jammed in there this week. Uh, next up, we have the new 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. And this is from the Torque series. It's kind of like a metallic burgundy color and you've got your raptor on the side in silver plus you've got yourself a couple of stripes ah let's just open it let's just open it and there's the card art there that looks really cool i was going to hold off and wait until next week or something like that to open this up but i think we'll just open this up now how cool is that you've got ford on the front there uh, no headlight details unfortunately but you do get these racing stripes over the bonnet there, and you get the vents on the bonnet there too, that's pretty cool. Comes with a sunroof, uh, black bed in the back there. Really nice metallic burgundy colour, I don't know if you guys can see all of that sparkle in there. Now that's really cool on the side here, as we see we have the Raptor plus more of those black stripes. Pretty nice silver chrome beadlock off-road wheels, they look really really cool. Do like the look of that. On the back there we have the Ford embossed into the tailgate. Dual exit exhaust. Plus we also get some brake lights and indicator lights on the side here. That looks all right. Looks pretty cool. You can even see in the back there's even a sliding window in the back window. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never noticed that before. And have a look at the base of this one as well. There you go, Raptor. Not bad at all. Add that one to the top. What do we got next? What have we got next? Try and get something out that we can have a look at. Uh, this is the 
2015 Dodge Charger SRT from the Hot Wheels Rescue Series. Very nice, bright yellow with the red and black stripes. You have Rescue 7 on the side. Blacked out wheels with the red chrome trim. That looks really cool. Uh, this one has the red light bar with the red windows. Also has Rescue 7 on the front there. And some more striping over the top and the back there. Not too much detail on the back, but a pretty cool casting. Do quite like the look of that. And we'll leave this one, we'll leave that one up the back there today. We're not going to open that. Uh, but we will open this. This is from the Factory Fresh series, the R390 GTI. Is it a GTI or a G, uh, GT1? My mistake. GT1. Now in its second color of this beautiful red. Really nice metallic red on this one too. It was first released in a really nice dark blue color. There's the picture there. Uh, doesn't say anything about the car on the back, unfortunately. Not like the American long cards, how the American long cards give you that little bit of information in this section there about the vehicle or anything to do with it. Wow, this looks really, really nice in red. There we go, you see on the front there we have those headlight details, badging, uh, indicators, and this is a, yeah, that's actually blacked out sections for the racing grill there. That's really cool. Some sort of vents or something on the bonnet there. Some design things, not totally sure. Let's have a look at the color of this paint. That looks really, really nice. And the old school five spoke chromey wheels. They look really, really cool. And on the back here, we have the painted up details as well. Once again, brake lights are all painted up. The grill section's painted up. I think this is exhaust pipes in the corners there. Uh, not entirely sure. But it's all painted up very nicely. I do quite like the look of that. Uh, there's not, not a lot of detail on this. You do have the front and rear lighting, uh, but yeah, not not a lot of not a lot of detail. But that's really cool. I like that. And there's the base there, R390 GTI. Wow, very happy to have this into the collection. All right, let's have a look at some Hot Wheels premium cars. Um, <laughs> uh, probably not gonna open any more cars today, but I do have two more cars off to the side that I can open for you. So uh, yeah, kick back, relax, and we'll have a look at those later. Uh, next up, we have this new Hyper Haulers uh, Car Culture Premium set. This is the Ford Bronco, or the Ford Bronco R, I'm assuming for race, racing Ford Bronco. Pretty cool, it's got the spare wheel on the back there. Is, it, is that actually a... Uh, no, it doesn't appear to be an actual real rider tire. Oh, there's the license plate, 2069. 2069. Pretty cool looking design. You get the front grille. Not a bad looking car, but eh, could be better. Uh, was unable to find the SVT Lightning, which is obvious and probably won't find that and uh, also the Datsun Sunny truck uh, probably won't find that e either because that looks incredibly cool really hope to find that uh, wouldn't mind finding that as well but we do have these three here to have a look at so yeah uh, probably the worst one out of the set is the new Ford Bronco not the biggest Bronco fan of the new ones I like the old Broncos the real Broncos <laughs> Uh, next up, we have the Baja Bouncer. I'm not entirely sure what this is actually based off. Is this a fantasy casting or is this actually something particular? Um, yeah, just it's just called a Baja Bouncer, but it kind of looks like just a regular trophy truck. Uh, one, of, one of those trucks that could be literally anything because they're just a... Uh, a tube frame with a fiberglass body thrown over the top of it so yeah god knows what this is actually called but it looks really cool in the the lucas oil racing livery you also have the 15 and the baller there as well i think 15 is wheels and baller is uh exhausts uh, don't quote me on that i'm probably wrong because i don't know very much about the american 
racing brands. I do like the card art though, that looks really nice. And where did I put that last one? Ah, there it is. The last one that we have from this Hyper Haulers set is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator and this does look really, really nice. Nice crisp, clean headlights on the front there, extra marking lights, uh, red and white stripes on the front there. You got your different colored doors, they're like a darker green color. All the badging detail, nice gold off-road wheels. All the details in the back there also. On the top there you have some more paint variation colours there. So um, kind of hard to see. Try and get it close for you. So those little vents and the wiper blades are different colours. Uh, yeah, is that the same colour? I think it's the same colour as the doors. It's just hard to see in the light. And on the back there we do get the two motorcycles, little, two little dirt bikes there. Wow, that looks really, really cool. I do like the look of that. And there is your awesome card art for that too. Now we can get into some Fast and Furious. This is the Fast Superstars. And no, these are not the same car, even though they do look exactly the same. They are both different car cars. Um, as I said, Fast Superstars series. Uh, number two or five, and number four or five. Uh, the 1970 Chevelle SS. This is in a matte primer grey colour. Still gets those nice clean headlight details on the front there. That looks really, really cool. Uh, even has some indicators in the bumper. Really nice wheels, like the look of those. And there's clean details on the back there once again with a license plate, so that's pretty cool. So yes, the Fast Superstar set. Uh, I would have loved to have found the Supra, but I would have even more loved to have found the Skyline. So I'm going to be checking all the stores that I can find near me, hoping to find the rest of this set, uh, because I really want this. And the new Supra just looks really cool. Um, yeah, and the Charger, it's, that's just insanely cool as it is. So fingers crossed that we'll be able to finish off this set uh, within the next couple of weeks. That's really cool, hope to find that. So yeah, not a bad looking little car. Kind of looks more like a bare metal color on the picture. Let's move this one out of the way over there because we'll put this in its space. Uh, this is the 1970 Chevy Nova SS. And there you go, there's the picture. Kind of looks like they swapped the cars over. I don't know. They look, they look very, very similar, even though one's a Chevelle and one's a Nova. They look incredibly similar. Uh, this one here is in a nice metallic silver color. Very cool, nice wheel choice once again with their uh, chrome lip on them. Very cool headlight and grille details on there. There's the racing stripes over the top. And on the back there, once again, we get some pretty cool looking details painted on there. So yeah, fingers crossed that we can find the rest of this set and we can open it up. All right, guys, we're getting through there. We're getting through there. Uh, found some more of these. Well, not, I didn't find some more. I found a few of these. Uh, not that one. That's the, th the third one that we want. This is the Marvel Entertainment series. So we've got the new James Bond car from No Time to Die. And this is the Aston Martin Valhalla concept, which looks awesome. This looks really, really cool. Uh, very, very minimal details. There is not one speck of paint on the entire rear section of the car. Uh, we get a plastic piece for the side there. So all we get is a kind of like a textured roof in a separate color and some headlight details. And I think that all of this is part of the base. So uh, very, very minimal effort has been put into designing this casting, but it looks incredibly cool. It does look really, really cool. 
it's kind of like a darker gray on the top there a light gray around here and a black grill um, yeah can't say much about it because I haven't seen the movie but the car itself looks really cool I just wish that they actually put a little bit more detail uh, into this it's very very minimal uh, they could have done a lot better I mean there's there's literally zero paint on the back there for brake lights or anything like that so a cool looking car but also quite disappointing quite disappointing and then we get to these two which are incredibly cool incredibly cool uh, this is the Deadpool scooter there you go you can see Deadpool riding around on his scooter there there you go 30 years of Deadpool and here we have the Deadpool bike very very awesome this also has minimal details painted onto it but it's still a lot cooler looking um, I'm sure that there's other stuff painted on the opposite side so we'll have to we'll have to get this open at some stage kind of kind of see in there there's a little bit of blue paint on that side there oh it's possibly this it's probably got these stickers here painted onto that side so yeah and there's other stuff painted on there as well so yeah I was very very happy to find these uh, these ones don't come in any particular set they're just part of the the same range put that down there and uh, probably the the best one to find was the uh, Japanese Spider-Man how cool is that and you have the actual old-school spider vehicle the spider machine GP7 very very awesome very retro it is very 1980s Japanese style oh, I love this this is so cool and I really want to find another another one or two of these I'd love to have a few spares of this one it even has kind of like a claw on the front there or pincers I should say a little spider-man web on the front there just incredible they're just such a such an insane looking car it even has like wings on the top there so yeah this is probably from back in the day when uh, they had the original spider-man tv series and they probably wanted to compete with the batman batmobile so they created the spider-mobile and this one here is just pure insanity oh, i love that that looks really cool and the card art looks really good as well and there's the back there of those all right let's get that down there because now we can grab these we don't need the box box is empty put that aside because we found some giant new lightnings plus there's also an auto world in here as well so we'll get to that uh, from uh, I don't know what series this is from it's release one this is the 1959 Cadillac ambulance and this is the black with flames then you've got your extra information on the side here as well with your paint and it's really cool it even has the curtains on the windows there nice white wall tires uh, not too much in the way of details painted onto the front grille there um, yeah not very much at the back there how cool does the back look that's awesome and you also get flames on the roof also uh, there's also a blacked out version of this there it is the blacked out version I did see that but I opted for this one instead because I thought the flames just made it look so much cooler awesome uh, we'll find a spot for this put that one there put uh, I, may, I may as well just do the auto world now uh, this is the the Hellcat that I was trying to find last time uh, where have we got we had found the what did we find I don't know I can't even find it now uh, the Toyota Supra was one of them it was uh, probably the Silverado or oh no it was the Suburban it was the Suburban we're supposed to be opening the Suburban today where did I put that um, I forgot to add this to the pile of these cars because I was going to actually open that one uh, yeah anyway <laughs> uh, we got the, the Dodge Hellcat there's the information and the paint color on that side 
2019 Dodge Challenger SRT Hel Hellcat. Very nice blue. Do quite like the look of this. So yes, we will open this one up. Um, we'll just do this one next week, I think. There's Hellcat on the plate there as well. Um, big fan of the Hellcat. I do quite like them. Move this stuff around so we can put some stuff in front. Uh, next up, we found uh, a spoilers. I think these are all from the same series. Uh, spoilers, Plymouth Barracuda Custom. Yep, and also uh, Chevy Cheyenne 10. Okay, so okay, these are all from the same set. So I found a spoilers number 21 or whatever that means, uh, but this is the 1967 Plymouth Barracuda Custom. And I do quite like a Barracuda as well. Uh, deep green metallic with gold stripes. Wow. That looks really cool. And this one looks like it's got an engine in the back there as well. So yeah, we'll have to open these up next week. Alright guys, we're going to open up all four of these next week. Plus, I'm going to open a couple of other ones that I also got uh, recently as well. So to come back next Monday and we'll have a bit of a an Auto World Johnny Lightning episode and we'll we'll try and open a few and get a nice close-up viewing of them. Because looking through the packaging, you can't you can't see how good they are. They, they just look incredible. Alright, anyway, I have the last one that I found is a zinger. And this is also uh, my first spoilers and my first zingers. Also my first black with flames. But how cool is this? This one here is the C10 Eruption. Uh, extra information on the side there. Uh, but this one here comes with these jacked up wheels in this huge stance. Tiny, tiny, tiny wheels on the front there. Huge dragster wheels on the back there. And it's a bit hard to see, but you can see all the suspension parts and everything there as well. You've got the engine sticking out of the bonnet there. No bonnet necessary. Very, very cool. And there's the tailgate there, which also looks like it opens. So yeah, very, very happy to have this. These Zingers cars are cool. And it's got some crazy, crazy paint job on there as well. Wow. All right, let's pop this one down there. Move, uh, move that over there. There we go. Uh, last couple of things, last couple of things. I uh, found a Welly 132nd scale. These are the same size as the Fast and Furious cars that you, uh, oh, I, I, can, I suppose I can just show you. They're approximately the same size as this. Approximately. I think that the Fast and Furious ones are actually a little bit bigger. Uh, but I found a Pagani Huayra. So very, very happy for this. I'm that happy that I'm just going to open it for you. Uh, these are also pullback cars as well, so you can send them on their way. Looking awesome. Oh, cool. It comes with some opening doors. Yes. Nice. Very cool. Comes with the lens headlights on the front there. Very nice looking details. Little, is that a badge on the front there? Yeah, it's a little tiny Pagani badge. Get this door open as well. Oh, that's so cool! Very nice details. I don't know if these wheels are authentic. I can't recall seeing them. Uh, but they look very cool. And it has the engine hiding in the back there. And the wire written on the back there, four exit exhaust, and the lights there as well. Awesome! That is really, really cool. And there is the base as well. Pagani Huayra. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Last couple of things that I have is one of them is actually a Harley Davidson Volkswagen Samba van. So this is really, really cool. So we're going to open this one here up as well. Ooh, there we go. Um, I also bought this for $13, so 
<laughs> yeah, a little bit more than I would normally like to spend. Oh wow, this looks really cool. Uh, this is this is made by Maisto, so you know that it's got some sort of decent uh, quality behind it. Yeah, it's cool. It's even got the uh, the Fook style wheels. Um, motors Harley Davidson motorcycles number one on the side, uh, black with the orange orange windows. This is a uh, gold paint around the edge there, so that looks really really nice. And Harley Davidson on the back there. Oh, cool! We actually get to see the engine. How cool is that? All chromed out. Beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, brake lights are a separate piece by the looks of it. Yeah, a bit of a separate piece there. Uh, inside, once again, it's a little bit hard to see. I wonder if I can pop the top. Nope, the top is not poppable. Uh, chrome inside the... Uh... Is that... I think it's just a chrome steering wheel but it looks like there's also something behind the seat there that I can't quite see what that is. I can't quite see what that is. I don't know. No idea what that is. It comes with some extra fluff hiding onto that a little bit of cardboard stuck to the edge there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that silver piece there is. Not entirely sure at all. But there we go. Thought that would be a nice little extra for the show. Oh, also has Harley Davidson on the roof there. So very, very nice. And the base also. Wow, very cool. All right, guys, we've almost finished the episode. Only a couple of things to go. Uh, Friday's episode, we have a new five pack. Yes, this is the brand new 2022 Hot Wheels Unleashed five pack. You get the rip rod, uh, what's that one called? Too Tough, uh, there we go. Bifocal 2, Night Shifter, Night Burner, Too Tough, and Rip Rod. So there we go. Come back on Friday and we'll open these, uh, all of these up. Night shift is really cool, I do quite like the look of that. So yeah, have a quick little look at this. And you'll be amongst the first people in the world to see this. And extra mumbo jumbo, uh, and there's a barcode there so you can try and scan that if you want. All right, uh, put this down there, put these here on top, very cool. And the very last thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to take it back off the, off the show. <coughs> it is the 2021 Hot Wheels Christmas Advent Calendar. Yes, we're going to keep to our tradition and we're going to do this. So yes, all of those people that really enjoyed the Hot Wheels Advent Calendar each year for the last couple of years, we're going again. And it's just because of you guys that I'm doing this because uh, these are $30. $30 for eight cars. Or should I say 24 pieces, eight cars, and a whole bunch of junk. There you go, 16 pieces of junk with eight cars. So all right, put that off to the side. And there we go, guys. That's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I really, really hope you all enjoyed quite a few things in here today. Uh, zoom back back out just a little bit there so we can see a little bit better and yeah really hope you enjoyed once again thanks for thanks for coming uh, please let me know what you think about all this stuff down here uh, tell me to hurry up and open all of this stuff up because if you guys don't tell me to open it it's just going to sit here next to my table for the next six months before I remember it's there and then we'll do it again so I'm going to sign off now thanks for joining me and I'll see you all next week yes or friday first and then next week yes and we'll open a whole bunch of stuff all right guys i'm gonna stop rambling thanks for joining i'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs>